and welcome to another Free Willis webisode. So, uh, next week I'm going to go on tour with a play that I did last year and uh, I'm going to have to travel and I decided that it would be maybe fun to show you um, the things that I'm going to take with me beauty and makeup wise. Of course there are things that uh, will go on my uh, stage makeup kit which I've done a video about uh, a few months ago so I'll link it down below uh, but um, these are the things that I'll be taking with me I'm terribly terribly afraid of airplanes I hate to fly I'm gonna be totally out of my comfort zone <clears throat> I usually cry the whole time um, so wish me luck I'm going to have a bomb there but um, until I get there I'll be suffering most beauty vloggers or vloggers talk about their bags. This one is by Women's Secret, which is um, one of the stores owned by uh, Inditex. This is kind of a very normal travel bag. It has this area here. Whoa! It has this area here, which is plasticky and good for things that will explode. And then it has two kind of pouches on the other side that you can detach and bring along with you. So that's useful. Um, this is my Tangle Teaser, the Travel Tangle Teaser, which is great for the hair. Deodorant, this is uh, Rock Keops, which is a great deodorant because it doesn't have aluminium nor alcohol and is fragrance free so if you have very sensitive underarm area. Hair wise I'm going to take my Living Proof Perfect Hair Day shampoo and conditioner. You cannot, you cannot get hold of these products here in Portugal for the life of you. I'm also taking with me, this is the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter which is kind of the same as the oil uh, but is a lot more travel friendly and this one will go with me to the theatre to remove all the makeup at the end of the play. This is just a random shower gel I had around. This is by Cloran and it's it's um, soap free so I really like these ones. The other thing is this Nivea body milk for the shower. This is one of those in shower uh, moisturizers. I would much prefer to take my Lush Sympathy for the Skin Moisturizing Bar, which is for the shower also, but I don't think I'll be able to go to Lush during the week and purchase it. So this is going with me. Then for the hair, um, this is the Macadamia Healing Oil Treatment. And this is something I've owned for years and years and years and really liked it. I bought this little, a sample size just to test it out. I really enjoyed it on my on the ends of my hair uh, It's really nurturing and moisturizing and it reduces the drying time to about a half So it's really good for that and I bought the big bottle and I keep refilling the smaller one when I travel and This was also in the supermarket the last time I went there and this is the Garnier micellar water which is kind of a cheap alternative to the Bioderma and um, I'm a sucker for little small packaging and travel friendly packaging so I decided to give it a try and it's coming with me to um, Spain. Then you have, you know, toothbrush, tooth toothpaste, a little Sephora box with buds, cotton buds or q-tips depending on where you live because makeup and these are the things that are just general things then my uh, skincare has to be very reduced so it's inside this pouch here and I usually go for the cult beauty uh, website usually has uh, about once or twice a year that they uh, have kind of a big kit with sample sizes it comes out really really cheap and you can try out a lot of products and I've been using some of those products um, for traveling which is really nice so let's start with nighttime shall we I have inside here the REN anti-aging bio retinoid oil or serum uh, which I've decanted to this little pot 
I have a very good generic moisturizer. This is the First Aid Beauty. Um, I will put the name below. This is an amazing moisturizer. It doesn't make your skin feel very greasy. Men like it. And it's really, really nurturing. And this one is the Dr. Dennis Gross Ferulic and Retinol Eye Cream. And then for the daytime, where is it? Tata Harper Replenishing Nutrient Complex. This is kind of a multivitamin oil. It has a roll-on and you just roll it onto your skin. It's not a very thick oil, so it's good for the mornings. And the Alpha H Daily Essential Moisturizer with SPF 50, which I really love. And for the eyes, the Vitamin E Eyes Cube by The Body Shop. So these are the things I will use on a regular basis. And then, um, if I'm in the mood for it, uh, just Sephora's Isle of Doom is coming to Portugal. And they have these little minis of Peter Thomas Roth's mm, face masks. The, the three most known face masks. And I thought of bringing this one with me because this is uh, the Extreme Detoxifying Hydrator. So it helps to soothe dry, dry and irritated skin, which is really good and it's highly moisturizing, which is really good when you're off an airplane and your skin is adjusting to a new environment. And last but not least, if my skin breaks out, this is one of my little secrets. It's well loved. This is Aven's Cicalfat, which is an antibacterial repair cream with zinc and uh, copper and another thing I cannot pronounce for the life of me, sucralfat, I don't know what it is. Uh, and this is a life saviour when I'm breaking out. Nothing works for me but this works. Last thing I have on my daily routine that I'm going to take with me, this is the Pixi Glow Tonic and it's an acid um, toner. And since I'm only going to be there for a three nights or something like that. I'm going to take uh, in a um, Ziploc bag uh, some of these Muji cotton rectangles and I'm going to soak them with the tonic so that when I get there I have the pre-soaked cotton pads uh, ready to go and I don't have to carry this huge bottle or depot it because everyone knows when you come back home it's a mess when you've depotted products. Let me just take it out while being very noisy. What I'll bring with me is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette, which has um, matte highlighter, bronzer, shimmering highlighter, which is very beautiful, and a blusher. So that covers everything when it comes to your face. I'll take the Makeup Forever HD Powder. Uh, this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I love both of these formulations and I'm between in between shades right now so I'm going to take them both. I usually mix a bit on the back of my hand and apply it to my face with my fingers. And talking about fingers, um, when it comes to eye makeup I'm not going to bring a palette. If I do I'll use my theatre kit palette which is with Kik which has Kiko eyeshadows but if not I'm gonna go with finger painting so I'm going to take one matte option and one shimmery option this is um, Max paint pot in quite natural which is kind of a neutrally brown darker brown I'm wearing it today if you're wondering and uh, I'm gonna take the Maybelline color tattoo in on and on bronze or back to the bronze depending on where you live which is a beautiful goldeny bronzy coppery color on eyeliner i'm testing out this maybelline lasting drama 24 hour automatic gel pencil and i'm really digging it and it is waterproof or so it says i'm testing that out I'm going to take the kiko automatic pencil and for lips, I always want to carry a few options with me, so I'm going to take a nudie lipstick. This is the H&M lipstick in cream chestnut, which has a cream finish, and it's a nudie apricotty colour. Um, also taking Heirloom, which is a berryish purple, 
which is really beautiful, paired with mm. uh, the Kiko Automatic Precision Lip Liner in 514, which is a great colour. And uh, and uh, what else? The Too Faced Melted Chocolate uh, Lipstick in Chocolate Cherries, which is a very dark uh, reddish brown. And last but not least, again, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, the travel size, uh, which always comes around with me. You might be asking, where is your foundation? Where is your mascara? Well, those things will come with me in my personal bag uh, on the airplane. So these are the things I keep on a little transparent bag. This one is by Too Faced. It came with I don't know what. I find it quite cute and it stores things quite flatly which is good. Foundation. This is my Lancome Miracle Cushion. I love this foundation. It looks amazing. Makes your skin look amazing. It has SPF. Powder. I don't powder very often. If I do, I'm going to take one that I can use at the theatre also which is the MAC Studio Fix. Uh, powder, blotting sheets, these ones are by Essence. I'm going to take this Sephora retractable uh, brush. This is theoretically a blush brush, oh god this is hard to say, but I use it for um, powders. My Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And um, this is Max Morning Coffee, you know I love this uh, lip pencil and it's great to give just some definition to the lips without giving out too much colour so I can use it with nudes or with just an, any colour. She bought me this so thank you Barbara, really love you and this is the Instant Age Rewind, the infamous uh, concealer by Maybelline, really good to walk around in your purse, just a quick concealage uh, during the day. Oh, I always carry around um, a moisturizer. This is the Zellens moisturizer, Z Matrix Energy and Moisture Infusion, and uh, this one came in that Cult Beauty bundle. This one is a really good moisturizer, but it's just too expensive. Hand sanitizer. This one I bought at Sephora. It's by Merci Handy. It's in black vanilla because airplanes. And this is the H and M Rose Reverie hand cream, and really love the scent, no silicones in it, so really liking it. Last but not least, this is the Lancome, the new Lancome lipsticks. It's kind of a stain uh, as well as an oil at the same time. It has oil and then there's some pigment in it and then you shake it. That's why it has the shape of a shaker and you get um, some product on this little cushiony um, applicator and it's just um, a bit glossy but not too much and it stains your lips and gives them a pop of colour and at the same time it feels really moisturising to the skin so I'm totally in love with this one and I will certainly do some damage in the <laughs> airport stores if I can find it because Lisa Eldridge and your K-pop inspirations, you just kill me and kill my budget. So I think that's it. I think I covered everything. Maybe I'm forgetting something. Let me know if I'm forgetting something. <laughs> I probably am. But um, these are the things I'm taking with me. Uh, maybe I'll change up some things until the day of the departure, but I won't have much time to do so. so this is basically it and I hope this has been helpful in any way at least to see travel size products one after the other that's cute and um, let me know what are your favorite um, travel products and the things you cannot live without and I'll see you on the next one bye